All right. Look, today I'm feeling real loved. <laughs> I might give out hugs. <laughs> My girl out here trying to grub. <laughs> but I ain't no fucking really scrub. I'm a digger down, I'm trying down. I'm bad bass from Chinatown. I got a girl with a bad bass. Her ass fat and I turn around. Whoa. I swear to God, I don't going down. I... That's what my brother said, I didn't have it. Uh, but I grab it. Uh, yeah. I'm not no capping. Uh, uh. Let's go, Jamor. Let's go. Let's go. Cut and wait, cut and wait, cut and wait, cut and wait. Let's go. Cut and wait, 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 cut and wait. Hey! Cut it off, Steve. Boy. Cut it off. Boy. That was what you, you felt you, that? I felt that right there. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You had that, you, you had that techno voice. See? Cut it, wait, cut it, wait. It got higher. Well, yeah, time. yeah, yeah. I love that. See, shit. I'm a sound guy. Welcome back. Welcome this back. here's another episode of Cutting Weight with Mallet B and Jamar Neighbors, aka the Hub Al Heyman. Goddamn right, man. You and know we, what I'm saying? We got everyone in the studio, so clap it up for everybody. <laughs> Shout out to all the weight cutters and babies, you know what I mean, for, you know, holding in and, and you know, keeping this podcast afloat. We love y'all. We do it for y'all. It's a lot of money that goes out into this. So thank y'all for y'all support, and God we do right. it the right way. Now, with that being said, Lizzo is still on the Instagram shaking that ass. How do you feel about it? I feel fucking phenomenal about it, Malik. Explain why. Because, man, people, like, they got it. Why, like... Okay, I know that she fat, whatever, yeah, like, yeah. but they body, but she not the kind of fat that's like, yo, it's like, it's like unfuckable fat. She yeah. like, if she was a slim chick, she would have a fat ass, but now she a fat bitch with a fat ass, and yeah. that's all right. That's all right, but because I've done with the bigger BB women out there in my day. Like in my past, I had this girl who kept a t-shirt on. Yeah. And like when she took it off, she looked like a gummy bear. A, a whole motherfucking gummy bear. She <laughs> looked like an adult vitamin. And nigga, I like, and nigga, I like gummy bears, man. But why not, bro? Lizzo's Come fucking, on. I don't know. She's the kind of fat bitch that you hope for. Oh, I like yeah. she, she did that. Because yeah. a lot of guys out here hoping. Yeah, nigga, like, like. You would be so, like, let's say if you moved to L.A., like, most niggas are trying to, like, if they homeless and shit, they'll yeah. try to sleep up under a chick and shit like that, just until they get on and body shit like heat, Body heat, body heat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of chick that you, that they try to go for, but they never ever really, I, I don't, anyway, I fuck Lizzo. I know you would. A couple of I industry. I say it every episode. Bro, and I, we gonna try to manifest that, okay? I want to see that. I want to see that number 10. I heard she be grabbing on niggas, too, man. Bro, you don't think these industry dudes out here hitting Lizzo? She got too much confidence. Yeah, Come nigga. on, bro. She mentioned Drake's song in a song. Come nigga, on, man. Drake nigga. name in the song, so you already know what's up. I think it's great, too. It's probably great, too, nigga. Hell yeah, Yeah, because she played that flute. <laughs> she played that flute, nigga, and she played well. How many bitches you know can fucking play the flute? Not, not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and every girl that, that I ever met that could play the flute, man. Uh, yeah, I, I want a fat girl who can whistle. Yeah, man. So Lizzo, uh, 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 this is the uh, this is the call out list. Lizzo, okay. We need you on the podcast. Thank you. I love and Carucci. I know my man saw you, but he didn't mention me. I you didn't see Carucci. You was but the, I was there. You was at the top Ebony One Hundred. You didn't tell him. You know. You didn't say. You bring not. this up every goddamn week. Well, brother, I'm still upset. All right. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Bro. Anyway, is that like it? Is that like it? Is that like it? You, you really want her like that? You wouldn't? You don't think Caruso? No, no, I think she's fucking beautiful. I'm just saying, like, but you seem like, uh, you seem a little bit more invested in her than, than I am. Uh, you know what? I like Claws. Claws? Yeah, that, that, that TNT series she was on, I was like, oh, I think I'm in love with a character more than Karuchi. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would never watch a show called Claws if it ain't on the Discovery Channel. You know? Where is where you can catch Lizzo any motherfucking time of the week. Shout out to Bear Grylls and all them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, what if what if Lizzo like a chill ass girl? Like she don't even care. She just call you and she use you. And she's like, all right, Jamar, get out. Like you know what I mean? Like yo, that's, that's okay. That's what I'm saying. Like she a cool chick. You don't want nothing from. All she want is Jamar. All of you. And then y'all don't really have to talk like that. You cool? Cause big women are like that. I noticed that back in my day, bro. It's like simple. They just want one thing. Back in your day, how old are you? Twenty nine. Oh, okay. Now what happened back in your day? Well, I used to, I used to, you know, come on, man. Scrape them big, scrape, scrape them big ones. Bro, big ones. Uh, listen, uh, here's the thing. I used to be scared, scared of a big girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be nervous. I used to be like, yo, you know what? But then you, sometimes you gotta look a big girl in her face and say, I am ready. 
And then they eat <laughs> And she know what that means. She'll do, she'll do this, she'll do this. <laughs> she do that, because usually when they, she, they got that waist trainer on, so they got to like get up. All right. And then and that's what, damn, I love that, bro. I had a big girl. I had a, uh, See? When, I first, when I first moved here. Oh, I never told you this story. When I first uh, moved to LA, I had this big woman, and I, uh, I was dating her daughter. And her daughter was like slim. Mm-hmm. And when she, her daughter was in school, she was flirt with me. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was we, tagging them both. Yeah, I was. I was. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm a legend for that mom and daughter. So this is when you first moved to LA. Yeah. So I this was, is basically what I was saying. Like these are the kind of big women that you hope for when you move to LA. Someone who can kind of take care of you and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. when 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 the you know, that's that's good, Malik. Thank you, bro. I, I didn't hit my first big bitch until I was like 24. I was 24, and she was older. She was like 39, but she had a cute face. And I was just excited to fuck an older chick. Like, oh, nigga, I'm 23, man, fucking 39-year-old, nigga, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, that's, that's 39 how you sound it. That's how you sound it. Yeah, yeah, you know my voice funny. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. so um, uh-huh. imagine when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine, brother. He was and so nigga, this bitch, I, 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 it's like, I don't know. Fat bitches is like... Hey, yeah, man. That shit crazy. A national treasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they feed you good and shit like that. They always got it. Like, they always got your way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, so, I, don't know, I don't know what kind of women you running past. Oh, okay. I mean, this bitch had her own shit. Yeah, and so, this fat. You. And then the second one? Nigga, the second You hit two? One? Nigga, I mean, but so it's really like seven. You know what I'm saying? Oh, was this a lucky seven? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, uh... No, 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 no. This next one, nigga, she was bad, bro. She was a fat bitch, but she was like filled out in all the right places. You know what I'm saying? Explain that. She was like a, she was like a, um, she was fat, but with a great body. You know what I'm saying? So like, so like everything that was supposed to be fat, like the stomach is supposed to be out here and the cankles, all that shit just went to her ass and to her titties. She had a little pudge and shit like that, but mm-hmm. she was a, Filled out bitch. She looked like a Megazord, nigga. Mm, but a, a bad, but a BBW me. Megazord. Come nigga. on, bro. You should put that on a postal card. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> come on, bro. Oh, I like oh, a Megazord. I used to be like, it's fucking time, bitch. Oh shit. Like, I did that actually. She did, and which, and she just assumed the position. <laughs> yeah, you man. Got, you got fun. Yeah, she that. laid on the couch and ate donuts, and I was like, yeah, dead girl. <laughs> hey, 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 nigga. She let she let me put my dick through a donut and fuck her <laughs> through that. Nigga, it was she like fat. She was fat, bro. That's that's how you get diabetes. You ain't shit. Nigga, my dick ain't gonna get no damn diabetes. <laughs> that's too much. That's too much sugar. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, have you ever like the really skinny chick? Like, 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 damn man, this bitch probably ain't gonna make it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you gotta you gotta fill her up with something, nigga, before she die. <laughs> Girl, still so skinny. Her clit on the outside of the vagina. Nigga, she is the clit. <laughs> She came over here rubbing herself, nigga, like this. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Said her nose is a G spot. <laughs> Yo, nigga, you, you ever play? Remember them old? Remember them click clats and shit, nigga, hey. from like back in the day, like. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. that's 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 the experience I had. But everybody's different, and bulimia isn't funny. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> very controversial topic that isn't very talked about. Oh, just talk about it, then, brother. If you want to get something out your chest, you can. <laughs> nah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> put, him, put him on the spot, brother. If you want something to say, you can say it now. I'm just point. saying that there are very there are people out there who are trying to be models and they are throwing up their food to fucking do it, and they still not on America's Next Top Model. Talk that shit. And Takara, uh-huh. Takara, we already know Takara ain't had to throw up none of that. Nope. Big titties. Yeah. Big everybody, smile. Everybody know about Takara. Delicious. Shout out to that TV One show she had, like dating Takara. Oh, yeah. And she didn't end up with none of them dudes. So, Goddamn right. Because she none. was enough body for herself. There it is, bro. Shout out to the big bitches all over the world. Please do not be waiting for me outside of my shows. Thank you very much. Ooh. You all smell like the bus. <laughs> when you guys are together, not it on sync. I, 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 I had a white girl uh, when I was on tour. And she was like a bigger. And she was like, I love the podcast. I was like, bitch, you look like a cotton ball. Oh, what are you? Shit. What are you doing in front of me right now? But, but shout out to them. I'm sorry. We yeah, love. Hey, we accept. We it's love. It's like one of them ghosts uh, from the castle um, of Mario Brothers and shit, and follow you around like that too, nigga. <laughs> you gotta eat a mushroom, nigga, and hope she disappear. 
<laughs> Please let this be an illusion. Nah, nigga, she real. She trying to eat your ass, too. <laughs> trying to eat your ass, too. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. All right, well. Anyway. Bro, we, we got to talk about how um, Dave Chappelle called uh, Hannah Gatsby <laughs> not funny. And was he lying? Uh, listen, man, I respect any comedian that gets on stage and do their goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Have I been the funniest person every single night of my life on stage? Absolutely. And, um, <laughs> can I? <laughs> they didn't. It's boy, sarcasm, I, nigga. The boy I, out here talking that talk. You're talking spicy. You're talking like Ryan you Garcia. Said, you said, nigga, you zesty. You're nigga <laughs> zesty. I feel like, um, I feel like you should have came with a yas after that statement, nigga, bro. so I saw, have you seen the Hannah Gass, her, her, her first special? I watched it. So it was, I, I, see comedy. But you would love that. You know, comedy is subjective. Comedy put me in a weird place because because uh, I've been doing it so long that I've seen so many different styles like be funny and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like boxing where you was like, oh, I didn't know you could fight like that and be effective and shit like. So I saw her first special and I didn't mind it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I'm a nigga. I grew up on Comic View and and Def Comedy Jam and all this shit. So did I think it was that? No. Did I? Is it good for big lesbian bitches all over the world? Or whatever. Who drive Subarus? Yeah. <laughs> Lesbian stay in the Subaru. I'm like, the national big did. bitch car. Yeah. The national big bitch car. Because they got to keep that little Subaru. They got to keep it, you know, space. Yo. I mean, I mean, so, so yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I don't know. I'm always be like, comedy is subjective. I mean, it did it make me laugh out loud? No, not really. Was it interesting? Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... And I'm pretty sure that... I've actually, I've actually met people who said Dave Chappelle uh, 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 wasn't funny. So... You know, like, what do you think? Uh, you know, I agree. I think he's amazing, by the way. I agree uh, with everything that you said. And, you know, it's just causing that uproar as far as, like, you know, if, if he can't say anything, if he can say something, right? Because she threw a little dig at him. Now, a lot of people would be like, oh, the Netflix CEO dragged her into it. And she had to, you know, what she said was, uh, you know, a little quote. I can, I'm paraphrasing, but... You know, he's punching down and he's not, you know, $35 million, he, of course, just to say something. And he came back and was like, yo, you know, she not funny. You know, transgenders and all the people that, you know, watch her special. But I kind of like, look, I love, I love war. I love beef. You know, that's what, what happened to beef. You remember when beef used to be fun? Nigga, remember, nigga, remember back in the old day, nigga, I'm talking about the, the nigga, the 30s, the 20s, where your enemy uh, uh, take your bitch and put that shit bitch on the train tracks and tie her up, nigga. Nigga, whatever happened to war like that? You know what I'm saying? You don't hear about that no more. Why niggas ain't tired bitches to train tracks? Nigga, because the train is metro now. <laughs> yeah, you can tie a bitch to the motherfucking blue line train track, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, it's, I mean, everybody, everything's updated. You don't got to put her to one of them fucking ones that, like the Thomas the Tank Engine ones. Yeah. Nigga, tied up. Like, what happened to war? That's too much time, bro. Imagine, like, how long you got to get a chick out there, then rope her down on the train track. No, you go kidnap her. Okay, okay, babe. You Take, get rid of walk, ride. Walk, walk us through it. Go ahead. Hey, 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 hey. It'll be fucked up, nigga, if you actually go and kidnap this girl, and then you drive her all the way to the train tracks, and when you get there, you ask her for some gas money. You're like, bitch, I had to go get you. <laughs> Tie your ass up. <laughs> I have to pay for the rope. <laughs> nigga, go in my purse. You're taking everything else. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyway, bitch, lay your ass on this train track. <laughs> like, anyway, so, so let me the, walk what, you through what it. the black guy's too late for the train, though? Like, damn, he just pulled up in the train. God damn. I got to spend another hour with this bitch. Man. You hungry? Like, yeah, you, you, feed her. you sitting there while she tied up to the train track, you just talking to her, like, yeah. You, you, you ain't that bad. You not, you cool. Yeah, man. You know, I, this was really just some this really just some personal shit between me and your nigga, man. You know, I, it ain't got really nothing to do with you. You cute. You an Aquarius like me? That's crazy, girl. You a good bitch. <laughs> <I'm saying 'cause laughs> bah, bah. All right, girl, I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna remember this though. I'm gonna remember this. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> and then like let me leave. I don't know. <laughs> nah, beef was dope, bro. Beef is, uh, Are you talking about that 50 Cent Ja Rule shit, nigga? Yeah, man. Ja Rule back, man. We gave him a life. Yeah, nigga. Damn. Welcome back, Ja Rule. Ja Rule, man. Shout Yo. out to Ja Rule, man. Welcome Yo, back. The call out list. Ja Rule, if you out there, you would like to come on Cutaway Podcast and talk about beef, talk about fighting. Yo, we got a seat for you right 
here, next to these golden gloves. Oh, these are Mayweather uh, boxing gloves right here, brother. Yep, you know goddamn I mean? right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nigga, he's back and shit. I mean, he ain't back. I mean, he should make some music now, nigga. Because uh, Fat Joe brought him to life. I brought, brought him back to life. Why not just have a motherfucking hit song? I don't want to hear Fat Joe into going. I, I mean, I don't want to hear Ja Rule going into 2022. I bet I'm that should be hard. That shit is whack. He was the, he he seemed like a timeless like artist like his music he ain't never had a bad track to me no did Ja Rule ever have a bad track to you I mean no, but but if it, for that time it was like he was right for that time we already got our Ja Rule it's Roddy Rich mm. yeah yeah and I ain't think about it. I, I, yeah. I know like mm. that I heard boy shut me down he shut couple, me the I fuck up like hold on mm. You yeah. shut my whole shit up yeah Roddy Rich is cold yeah Roddy Rich <laughs> is cold and he and he's good for this time. All right, fine. Well, Jaru can't get a little. Hey, hey, what's going on? Remember me? He can't get to get a little bit of that. Nah, bro, we got oh. vaccines out. We don't need. He got collab with Roddy Rich. He, he got a collab with Roddy Rich. Okay. Oh yeah, so that's the wave right that there. That should be hard. Okay, that should be hard. Yeah, the old generations with the mm -hmm. new generation. Yeah, okay. Fat Joe did a real good thing, man. You know, for doing that. Well, he should have been and did a good thing with Berlanda. Bar, uh, what's his name? Bar, uh, Edwin. Edwin uh, Berlanga. Uh, oh, e oh, Edgar Berlanga, that nigga, uh, the Puerto Rican. That, yeah, that fucking he should have told his nephew to keep his hands up. That nigga, man. Damn, that nigga. Yeah. I don't know what's. Uh, I don't know what's. I, I don't know what to think now, cause I'm like, you know, for a minute the nigga was unstoppable. Yeah, don't now, think, don't think too much. Don't go beyond that. Just know the dude is. Uh, but the man can box, though. I was watching him, and I was like, oh, he got good skills. Yeah, but the, the, that's that. You, you remember when? Felix Trinidad was coming up. And just running through everybody? Yeah, and they, they try to, like, give him that same career path, and yeah. he got caught a couple of times. They was like, whoa, let's slow him down a little bit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. All you're yeah. He got skills. Winky Wright picked him apart, huh? Who, Trinidad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Winky Wright and, uh, well, the worst was Bernard Hopkins when he went in there and just mm -hmm. dropped his flag. Mm -hmm. and, and he, next day, if somebody dropped my flag in front of me and yeah. beat my ass the next day, yeah. that fucks up my psyche. Because I have no choice but to shoot you. Yeah, thank God you ain't got a flag, man. And it, it, I'm glad you brought up the nigga flags, the hood flags. Why? What happened? Because this is the time. Where this we isn't have... gang affiliation, by the way. Well, well, but it's the hood series, and, and we we trying to like give like black people. This is all. This is a black uh, mm -hmm. company right here. Yeah, We're giving a shout out. And, Next uh, week we're gonna have a fish plate up here. <laughs> we're gonna get, get, get more hood and hood. Right like, yeah, bro. <laughs> Mama soul. Like, like. <laughs> well, well, well. This is what we we kind of do. We uh, have our news segment of uh, our hood report. All right, let's get, we get. We you know we gotta get the update from my brother uh, Big Two. Big, big, come come up here and um, <clears throat> tell us what the streets got going on. Excuse me, Big Two, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, brother. What's going on? Welcome, brother. How you doing? Welcome What's back. What's going on, man? Good to see you, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. You. Goddamn right. Now, we was talking about uh, the African-American flag. Uh, listen, it's a lot going on in the hood, and I want them to, you know, just the way cutters and babies to understand uh, what's what's going on in these streets, because they don't know. They're on Twitter. Well, it's a lot of tragic shit going on in our streets, man. You know what I mean? So, got to get it right. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. up. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, Big two, everybody. Thank man. Yeah, man. Niggas is out there crying, Thank man. You, Thank you, bro. Yeah, Thank y'all so much. Thank you, man. That was good. That was good, bro. Yeah, man. Was you, were you that guy who... Uh, no, I was not fighting nobody in the motherfucking Waffle House, nigga, <laughs> on fucking World Star Hip Hop with, with, with sandals on. I think that's the best syrup in America is Waffle House syrup. Waffle House is the greatest, it's the greatest restaurant of all time. Nah, nah, not the greatest restaurant of all. Waffle time. House, if you're out there, we're looking for sponsorship. Oh, yeah, that is the greatest restaurant of all. And they time. got the best fights. Bro, talk that shit. They got the best fights, the nigga. The best fights. I put that on everything. Yeah. And, I, you know, let me Walmart tell you Walmart's second. But Waffle House, nigga, nah. a Waffle House fight? Shit. Bro, Walmart's second? Are you tripping? In, in, terms of like, in terms of, like, fighting in an, out, in an area you ain't supposed to be fighting in? Oh no no Maury Maury's oh, number oh, two. Okay, 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 Maury's okay, number two. two. Okay, salute. And salute. then and then um and, and then, Wa uh, Walmart number three. But Waffle House number one. Can I have an honorable mention the bus stop? I never seen a, a stop. Uh, uh, you ever uh, seen uh, that bus uh, driver uppercut the shit out that black girl? Nigga, going there? yeah. And she's still alive, doing great. This only time you get close to a bus driver is when you have a car and you need to ride the bus that day and you sit right behind them and like, oh man, I'm not even with these regular people. I'm. I got my own kind of car, you feel me? Mm. Every time you get close to a bus driver, you feel me? That's it. Nigga, did you ever used to ride the bus? 
Uh, Louisiana, yeah. Mm. Wow, what's up? You got a bus story you want to tell us? Break it down? Not really. Nigga, I was just thinking about uh, that bitch Rosa Parks. And uh, not bitch. She's. Oh. Anyway, that lady Rosa Parks. <laughs> Again, we respect any African American historic field. Who, who yeah, who stands their ground, goddammit. Stands their ground. That's what we stand for. Yep. Hey, nigga, but she, maybe this has been said before, but I always think about this shit. I was like, she, he, he, they told her to move to the back of the bus. And she was like, no, I'm staying right here. And and then they, she, they got into a big-ass fight, you know? And I was like, but this, the back of the bus is, like, the littest part that's of the bus. That's where it's at. That's where it's at, money. Like, that's, where you could, that's where you get your first roasting session. That's where you grab some titties. But that's where you get some head, all no. that shit. Rosa Parks could have been in the back getting her pussy ate, nigga. She didn't even think. But nah, nigga. I, I, I didn't, didn't want to go that deep. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, or, you know, sucking some titties. You, you, know? Know how, you know how fucked up that is because a woman... Before her, actually, set, did like, actually did it, and she get no recognition, but she got the same treatment. Yeah, beat her ass and all that, threw her to jail, and then you know Rosa was like, I like that, and she did it, and then she got all the glory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you? Do you? Then this comes up as an interesting topic. Do you? Do you ever feel like you're overlooked? Me, Jamar Malachi, neighbors. Yeah. As a human. As as a as live living and breathing. Yeah. Nah, niggas see me, niggas hear me. I'm loud. I'm like, uh, are you even talking about like in the career wise? No, not career. You, you oh, can't. I'm like absolutely. Oh, but just <laughs> <laughs> you nah. feel like you overlooked in comedy? Nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, 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 no. I don't feel like overlooked. Like if I want to, no. Do you? No, no, no. I'm good. Nah, I, yeah, no. Oh, okay. I feel good. Okay, because I don't want to. You know, you could be. Like, you know what I mean? You could be that girl that was set down first on the book. Matter of fact, can we Google that woman's name? I uh, mean... Because we're going to give her that kind of credit. They ain't the world to give her credit. This podcast will. I, I could say that there are things I probably... I, I probably, like... I feel like I had some influence, and then, then that started or whatever. I could say that. Oh, somebody just kind of like... You was like, oh, I did this first, and you see somebody took that wave and ran with it. Yeah, little things, little things like that. You know what I'm saying? But you, you, Ray J. Account. I've stolen from people too, so you know, whatever. We're all thieves here. Oh. You ever steal? <laughs> you ever steal from somebody? Yeah, but I mean, Robin is not what we trying to talk about <laughs> on this episode. We got brother. <laughs> we was trying to get that woman her credit, and then you was like, "Do you have a this?" Claudette Coven, man. Ah, I know the problem. The bitch name ain't cool enough. Wait, 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 what? Claudette Clogan. Clogan. Claudette Clogan. Yeah. Or would you rather be like, yo, Rosa Parks, man? You heard about it's too her? Too many syllables. That's what I'm saying. Or they could have said CC. Yeah, but ain't no, but now she, but now, that now they deduced this bitch to a fucking uh, a bitch with a nickname. <laughs> like, like they, nobody with a nickname is ever like. So you basically saying like, yo, choose a simple name. Yeah, like Rosa Parks. That's too, yeah, it's like it's perfect. Like, this yeah. is the per this is this is this, this the I ain't gonna get up, bitch. I'm like, <laughs> like Claudette, 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 that's a lot of paperwork. Claudette Clogan. They forget to spell Clogan off the you top. You got to spit, nigga, when you, when you say that name. It's, yeah. it's borderline Clogan. I'm sorry. Niggas got to use his mic. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah, was, See, I'm... Yeah. That's a lot, bro. Nigga, nah. Niggas ain't even vaccinated. You tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you always spit in that unvaccinated spit. Hey, I went, to, um, I went to Vegas this weekend. Oh, how was it, bro, man? Bro, I went to a Circus Olay show. Myst oh really? Mystere, mystere. Oh and, yeah. And this is what I walked. I literally watched two hours, and I can't tell you what the play about, but I can tell you one thing: nobody can flip better than a gay dude. Oh right, right, right. Nigga, right. they land with so much pizzazz and shit like that. The nigga was like, I they, mean, they so zesty, zesty with the flips. Mm. I wish Simone Biles would try to compete with Dewan. Nigga, I swear to God. With who? Dewan at the Royal. that was his name. Yeah, Dewan. You think you know Bobby the, Smurda can compete? What you mean? He low. <laughs> Do you think Bobby's murder can flip better than this nigga you saw it? Circus Soleil. And I'm not saying nothing about man. Yeah, basically what you said. I see what you're saying. I'm just going off what, what I've been seeing on the internet. 
What you saying? You little zesty. He dance a little zesty, a little too, a little bit too much. A little suave, Oh yeah. Hey man. Bro, hey, I've been on the dance floor doing some wild shit before though too, man. And I'm pretty sure there's videos out there. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't catch a body about a week ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, anyway, so you saying this soak is Sir Late, nigga? He's he's clearly uh, blowing your mind. No, we not. I'm not. Go ahead. You not talk about, about him. Nah, bro. Did Lil Boosie watch this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, call our list, man. Lil Boosie, if you out there, goddamn. Yeah. Get on this motherfucking podcast, bro. That's and a, speak your piece. You gotta speak. I don't like he get negative negative tension in the media. I don't like that, bro. You know that nigga saw George Zimmerman in the Walmart and socked him. Did you, you did? hear about that? Boosie did that. Ain't, did I not hear about? Did I not hear that? I, I feel like you. You heard about that, Keith? This nigga, uh, this nigga, little Boosie, uh, saw George Zimmerman in a in a in a Walmart and socked him, right? I, I don't. Lil Boosie I, punches. Yeah, what, what, are you are you on media takeout still? George, it was on. I got it off of some nigga.com. Some nigga told me this. Oh no 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 no! no. He I clarified. Lil Boosie has clarified. Says he didn't punch George Zimmerman at a Florida Walmart. Oh, all right. Moving right along, this Circus Soleil nigga. Now, bro, I went. I literally watched two hours of I don't know what the fuck. It was just like he goes out there. Uh, this guy is walking around through the crowd, and you think he's gonna like take you to your seat, and he's fucking with you the whole time because there's a spotlight on you. This gay now, this, nigga? Nah, nah. This is a guy part. He look like like the best way I can describe him is look like um, Beetlejuice, right? His hair was crazy, crazy makeup he had on the okay. suit. And, you, you know, when you get up, you're trying to, like, is someone to usher, to usher you to your seat because you're in a the theater, right? So he's walking around, and the spotlight is on him. I, was, I don't understand why people were like, now black I'm in guy, my white seat. guy? It's a white guy. Mm -hmm. Beetlejuice. Now, I understand. I'm in my seat now. We're all laughing, right? He take he'll, he'll, like, look at your ticket, and you're walking behind him, and then he'll take you all the way around, and he'll just fuck with you. He'll have you walking all over the theater, and then be like, well, I don't know. Here's your ticket. And you're like, what the fuck? And the crowd start laughing. Then he'll walk all the way around with another couple, and he'll go backstage and close their door, and they looking like, oh, shit, wait, what am I supposed to do? And we're all laughing, all right? That's the first part of the show. Then we have, like, these bad bitches on trampolines. All right. Boy, trampolines and these contortionists. Okay. Now, you got, now it's a lot going on, and you got this Bane dude just standing there. I guess he's spotting them, right? Then the gay guys come from above, and they're doing, like, uh, the swings. I don't know what they're called, but they're swinging, mm -hmm. right? And then other than that, you got a girl on the, this side, you got the opera, you got the band who's singing the songs. On the other side, you got the dude playing the guitar, right? Now, me, I wasn't paying attention because it was like, you know, ESPN, I was trying to, the Lakers are playing. Mm -hmm. right? I wasn't really paying attention. I was checking my phone. Mm -hmm. But this what caught me. The girl, the contortionist, it was two bad, it was two, like, Russian girls, right? They, the girl is on a full, like, handstand. Mm -hmm. And the girl underneath her has her feet on, like she's balancing on a handstand with the girl's feet underneath her. Then she dip over, right? Slip under like this, now her neck like this. Now her legs behind her. Mind you, the girl's still standing, right? She got her legs behind her. The girl is still hand, holding on the handstand. You still got the dude bang. You got the gay dudes flipping. I'm on my phone and it was like, hey, come on, man. We don't care about the circus all that. The shit was dope, bro. Fuck y'all. For real? Bro, I'll go back. You ain't gonna see Carrot Top. Nah, I want to go see a 65 year old with makeup on. Hey, how you feel about Floyd Mayweather talking to that dude? Was like, nah, I ain't taking a picture with you. You got pink, uh, your painted nails. I feel great about it. Let's talk that we shit. We are in his gym. Yeah. And goddamn it, I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, if he don't want to take a fucking picture with you because you got on What's fucking the nails and shit, then you ain't got a fucking. He's like, he's got, he's a man with free will. Bro, thank you. You know, bro. Thank I don't you, feel bro. like taking picture with you because of that problem. <laughs> <laughs> like. I think I think I think that's the best part of uh, a Floyd Mayweather. He doesn't he doesn't care. Like he's the only one who's standing. You heard him stand up for the vaccine, yeah. Bro, yeah. you heard him read, flexed on him, uh, flexed ish. on him. No, 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 it's still it's my G. Don't you ever, bro? He didn't stumble not once. I mean, no, he didn't. He knew every word. Enunciated every bro, every word he did. It was like to the point I, I watched the video twice. It, I know this is his gym. God bless it, it, anybody who's fifty and all and and does the whole shebang. Um, I you, mean, you it mean, was it was, but I think that it was his toughest fight. Like you mean to tell me, I, yeah. video, <laughs> bro? You mean to tell me when he read that video, the word like the paper? He didn't have to do that. He could have had a cue card behind that, but he was like, nah, I want to show people I'm reading now. 
That shit was dope, bro. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather, man. Speaking your truth and your into what he said, the land of the free. Talk your shit, Floyd. And 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 with that being said, that's another episode of Cutting Way Podcast with Malik B and Jamar Neighbors. Uh, like and subscribe, comment. Thank y'all so much. Keep it simple, keep the tempo. Bob and weed with the instrumental. Hunched over like you in a kennel. Ride that bitch like you in a rental. Lock in, core tight. Rolling up, giving more light. Go ahead and give it more gas. Ride that bitch like a motorbike.